global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. The Nigerian defense, as they are doing all to see that they reduce the continuous invasion of our territories by terror group. Unfortunately, new ones are emerging, and it was confirmed yesterday. The defense headquarters confirmed the emergence of a new group known as Lukarawas. Heightening security challenges in the northwestern region of Nigeria. Major General Edward Buba, Director of Defense Media Operation, made the disclosure during a military operation briefing on Thursday in Abuja, which you're going to see very soon. The newly formed terror group reportedly infiltrated northern Sokoto and KB State from the Republic of Niger following the breakdown in military operation caused by Niger's recent coup. Boba explained that prior to the coup, joint border operation between Nigeria and Nigerian security forces has successfully kept terrorist activities in check. Let me allow you to watch the moment how he gave us the history of this group and uh, what they are intending to do to put them on the check. And uh, it took our time to talk about what has made them to image the fact that Unfortunately, the attitude of Nigerians towards it was quite welcoming. Well, watch the video and we're back to look at what the reaction of Nigerians are in respect to this. Nevertheless, troops are confronted with a new terrorist sect in the Northwest. This sect is known as Lakurawa. The Labrawas are affiliated to terrorists from the Sahel, particularly from Mali and Niger republics. They began incursion into the northern parts, northwestern part of Nigeria, namely Sokoto and Kiri states. And like I mentioned, they came in from Niger and the Mali axis. Now, why are we seeing this at this time? This came as a result of the coup that took place in the Niger Republic. Prior to the coup, we had joint border operations with Nigerian security forces, which kept these terrorists at bay. Now, when that coup took place, and there was a breakdown of cooperation between both countries, the terrorists took advantage of the gaps in cooperation and made incursions into northwest Nigeria. They exploited the difficult terrains and made incursions into our into remote areas in our northwestern states. And when they came in, they started spreading their ideology. Now the issue is when they came in, did the people see them? They saw them. What did they do? They embraced them rather than report them. And what has that resulted? The people saw them as friends. The same friends they thought were friends have turned to fools. And we did not get this report on time until we started creating some power. Nevertheless, we are on top of that situation. We have sustained our intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and accordingly carried out air interdiction, ground offensives to degrade these terrorists, find, find them, flush them, until we finally defeat them, the same way we have defeated terrorist groups in the northeastern part of this country. Okay. Troops are locating them, like I mentioned, and we are eliminating them. Now to other operations. All right, welcome back. Now, Nigerians have really reacted over um, the statement made by 
the defense headquarters about this new group that has just invaded. Some people are like blaming Nigerians, you know, for it and the vulnerability of the northern part of the country. Someone here says that the Muslims who call the north is a fertile ground for this kind of groups and religious residents to strive. Why not? They have a pool of ever ready brainwashed human resources to draw from. These are the many offspring of irresponsible parents unchecked and unplanned and uh, he went further to say that the petrodollar from the oil tap flowing in the niger delta will keep oiling their insurgency as the government attempt to keep it going some other person here says that the army and the whole system of resistance against radicalism has been compromised so why won't radicals strive Another person reacting here to it says, Why are they acknowledging it? Why should we know the name of oppression? We don't care. We are not interested in this whole thing. We are tired of the continuous invasion of Nigeria by groups that keep on milking our resources. And I, I think that at this point, we need to cooperate with the, ministry, with the military because unfortunately just like uh, the first respondent says I, I think there's a fatal ground the human resources the fact that they are not being trained is making them very vulnerable to this kind of group imagine you know when i first heard of this group we were told that they paid as much reasonable amount of some people say one million to individuals and all of that and uh, because they do that nigerians because of the economy they are falling in and uh, Right now, they are now haunting them because if you listen to the defense minister, when they came, um, the people embraced them. They accepted them. Eh? But right now, those things that they accepted is actually haunting them. My colleague is in the house. And what's your standpoint on this uh, sudden, this new group that has come? Do you think that uh, it's because of uh, the fact that the northern part of the country is uh, vulnerable by virtue of uh, you know children just or uh, young people walking around no job economy is not diving so uh, it, it, the only thing they know is you know to be a part of this kind of terrible group you know when peter Obi said something sorry i have to make reference to peter Obi just this once one more time he made some he made reference to education people didn't really understand the trickle-down effect of of illiteracy and ignorance now these guys have ample time at their disposal they don't have anything they're doing a quality time they would have used to educate themselves go to the forwards of any school to to learn how to read and write and enlighten their mind and broaden their horizon they're left on their own wandering you know so by the time they have nothing doing anything will catch their fancy and don't forget that the economy is not smiling it's really biting and coupled with the fact that um everybody's fighting for the souls of these minors the good the bad and the ugly catch them young and once their their, their minds are blank fill it with what you want and they've been unfortunately bitter but truth but they have been significant neglect by the federal government to their citizenry particularly the next generation and if you keep you know feeding yourself me myself and i fat feeding the elite fat ignoring the next generation ignoring the poor the destitute the needy the less privileged they will come back to hunt you and that's exactly what you're feeling now in a situation where the minimum wage we have now is about seventy thousand. although tuc and nlc are screaming to high heavens that that was not the agreement they had they thought that it was going to be a case of 30,000 minimum, which added with 70,000 to make it 100,000. But alas, what they are saying is 30,000 minimum, which added just 40,000 to make it 70,000. Now, if the minimum wage that the federal government is willing to give their citizenry is about 70,000, of which some states are unwilling to do so, now the, 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 the new terror group are willing to pay as much as 1 million naira. Come on, these guys don't have any other skill they have. These minors don't have any other skills that they know. They don't know any other skill whatsoever. And the, the only one they know is just come with teach you, recruit you what to do or what not to do. So, unfortunately, illiteracy 
poverty, hunger, a breeding ground for some of the social vices and menaces, which will live with us if we do not consciously make deliberate efforts to curb it. And to worsen the situation, our borders, you know, between other countries like Nigeria and the rest, coupled with the fact that they see them as their brothers. So each time they are supposed to report issues of menaces, you now discover that either your brother or your nephew or your uncle is a part of this, the, the, the whole siege or is a part of the circle. You find it, it now makes it look as if it is a betrayer, a family betrayer to report your own blood. You would rather, after all, sometimes when they come, they come with the proceeds. You know, if you, if, if it doesn't come with the proceeds, you, you will go down, of, you will cry of hunger. So they see it as, you know, a synergy. It's going to take a long time to wipe, but if the country and the federal government make a conscious effort to do this, they will see maximum results. All right. Thank you so much. Well, I can...